Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what one word would describe your life or summarize your purpose? Could you do that in one word? What's that one word that drives you or defines you or summarizes the, what you're all about? See, my word would be reconciliation. Reconciliation. Might have been the Apostle Paul's word too. Listen to this passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. All things become new. And all this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. See, Jesus makes us new. The moment you confess Jesus as Lord, you are a new creation in Christ. And, and God begins that process of transforming your life, uh, of uh, changing you into the image of Jesus. Okay, that's sanctification. That's a lifelong process. From the moment you confess Jesus till the moment you meet him face to face, God's working in you, changing you, trying to build his fruit into your life. And, and so after God has reconciled us to himself through Jesus' death and resurrection, and we become this new creation, uh, then God gives us the ministry and the message of reconciliation. Now, what is the ministry and the message of reconciliation? Well, it means that when we serve God, when we follow Jesus, it should lead to a life where reconciliation uh, is a priority. And we are seeing that lived out in us by us inviting people to experience that same life-changing relationship with Jesus that we've experienced. That uh, uh, just as God has restored us to a relationship with himself, he wants us to help other people find that same redemptive relationship. And, and then not only has he given us that task, that ministry of reconciliation, but he's given us the message of reconciliation that everyone that we talk to, every person that we relate with, we should be proclaiming the goodness of God who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light and explaining to others how Jesus can do that for them. So we always want to proclaim the good news that people everywhere, no matter who they are, where they've been or what they've done, can be reconciled to God. Now, the best way to actually accomplish this is for us to live as people of grace and mercy. In other words, for us to be people of reconciliation. Now, you think about this. There's so much brokenness in relationships in our lives. Uh, what happens if we decide to flip the script and be those people who are ministers and messengers of reconciliation? That the grace that God has given to us, we give to others. And we model that in all of our relationships with our spouses, with our kids, with our parents, with our siblings, with our friends, with our family, with our co-workers. What happens if we start being those people who model what it is to have received the grace of God? You know, one of the core values here at Calvary is uncomfortable grace, that we believe that the same grace that we have received from God, we should pass on to others. And that grace is limitless and it's wonderful. But the way that we communicate that is not just with our words, but with the way that we live our lives, offering forgiveness and hope and encouragement to the people around us. And that's got to start in your family or else you're a hypocrite. So let it start in your family. Let it flow out into your friend group. Let it flow out to people you work with, people you relate to. And before you know it, you're going to be pointing people to the hope of the world, Jesus Christ because you have the ministry of reconciliation in your life and you're a messenger of the good news that anyone can be forgiven of their sins. So I hope that uh, and pray that you'll live as a new creation with the ministry and the message of reconciliation. And maybe that word can define your life as well. God bless Calvary. Hope you're having a great day and I hope this has helped.